If you need to make your team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Remember to use my discount code ELI to enjoy 6% off. Most of you guys know U7Buy for its FC coin service. Apart from FC coins, U7Buy also provides more games, services like top up mobile games, gift cards, game keys, and more. Click my link in the description and enjoy the cheapest price now. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I have to be a little quiet today uh, just because it's very late at night. Um, custom tactics that I'm going to go over is for the whole foot champs um, run. As you can tell, I just won 2-0, went 5-0 on qualifiers. I literally got to rage quit every single game. I'll post the rewards at the very end of this. Um, let me see. There you go. Playoffs, rank 1. Obviously, I haven't played foot champs yet, but playoffs was very, very easy. Um, I'll open that up in a little bit. I don't know what that is. And then I am about 2 or 3 wins away from Division 2. Um, I have a full-time job, 50 hours a week, so I play when I can. Um, and then this is a team that I'm using. Yep, there you go. Got Saliba, got Martinelli. Um, yeah, basically just playing with a fun Arsenal team. Uh, but just, you know, trying to enjoy the game. But you guys are here more so for the tactics. So let's get actually into the tactics of what I've used in Foot Champs. So there's four tactics. Um, so my main tactic is going to be the WM33. Um, the one that I posted a little while ago, I just changed a few things on the defensive approach. Um, and a few things on the offensive approach. I'll go over that with you guys right now I'm not gonna go into too much detail who goes where all that good stuff. You just copy and paste I'm gonna try to summarize this because I'm gonna go over for four tactics for all stages of the game um, And when you need to switch to them all that good stuff um, So my main tactic my go-to tactic is gonna be this one the WM uh, the 433 uh, Which converts into a WM which is that so you see the W at the very top the wingers with the striker with the two center mids with the box midfield so you have two center mids uh, one box to box one playmaker you have your CDM which becomes a holding CDM and you have your false back left back that becomes a CDM as well then your right back becomes a back line of three so you have three defenders so it's literally a WM um, I'll go over an in detail tactic later on over this this is my go to tactic my attacking tactic like if I'm losing the game and I need to get into uh, back into the game is basically going to be the same thing the 433 attack it still attacks in a, in a WM, but instead of having a CDM, you have a center mid, uh, which allows you to rotate the play, recycle the play a little bit more, and you have a cam instead of a, an extra center mid. So it just makes it more and more offensive. Um, my all-out attack is going to be this one right here. All-out attack, I'll go over that with you guys right now. And then my park the bus formation, I just put it as bus, um, is going to be the 4141. So let's get into it. It's going to be the WM tactic. Um, so the holding formation, uh, build up style balance, defensive approach 72, play a very, very high line, aggressive, try to steal the ball as much as you can, as fast as you can, play your roles, uh, keeper, sweeper, keeper balance, both center backs are going to be, uh, well, one of them is going to be defender plus, and the other one's going to be a stopper plus, um, if you don't have a stopper plus, then you can play two defender plus, your false back, your left back will be false back defend, uh, so they can actually defend as a CDM, your right back will be full back defend, so you can defend as a as a three in the back uh you're holding your cdm will be uh, i can't even get to him uh i had to evo her so i had a holding plus plus for player because it's so amazing when you play with a holding plus plus this is the only in detail that i'm going to get into um but holding plus plus is very very good so try to get a holding plus player here you're going to put holding and defend um so they're going to play as a cdm your right center mid is going to be a playmaker uh, and a put attack, don't put roaming, so they actually go forward a little bit. So that will be your attacking playmaker, your creative player. Your box-to-box -box center mid will be on the left side, so box-to-box -box balance. Your left winger will be inside forward balance, so they actually cut inside a lot. Your right forward will be, or your right winger will be inside forward as well, balance, so they cut inside a lot. Again, same thing, so they start wide, then cut inside, act like a forward. And then your main striker is going to be advanced forward attack, that is it. Don't put complete attack on this one just because we want to be more direct uh, we want to play a little bit less possession in the final third and just find more aggressive outlet or aggressive through balls if that makes sense um, so that's that one uh, the code for that one is there there you go I'm not gonna go over every single code uh, you can kind of pause it copy and paste that code 
all that good stuff i'll probably post it on the either description or in the comment section down below my main formation all that good stuff um then my backup formation is going to be this one right here uh the attack 433 attack so same thing as 4334 variation if you ever played uh fc24 uh, it just has two centimeters and a cam instead of two centimeters and a cdm uh balance again 72 high line getting into the opponent's face trying to steal the ball as much as you can player roles if you see is very similar uh, as the other one is just instead of you having a box midfield with two cdms you have a you have like a diamond midfield but it's still box midfield if that makes sense so you have your bottom diamond your cdm here you have a right center mid here left center mid here and a cam here um so your false back your left back becomes like a quote-unquote cdm in front of your back line of three it just makes him a little bit more aggressive uh in the midfield area and easier to press and steal the ball faster um, but yeah let's get into the tactics uh again super keeper balance and the center backs same exact thing i recommend putting defender defender and stopper defender or stopper balance if you have another stopper plus if not play uh defender defender left back again false back defend that's what you got to do so they play as a cdm right back again full back defend so they say as a, as a right center back your right center mid is going to be holding uh defend um, they're still going to be playing as a holding center mid, not as a CDM, so they won't go too far forward, uh, but they'll actually sit a little bit higher than normal to so be easier to recycle the play and steal the ball, uh, especially with that 72 depth. Um, your left center mid is going to be box-to-box -box balance, so they cover more ground. He's going to be attacking a little bit more, and your right center mid will be defending a little bit more. Your cam is going to be playmaker roaming. Uh, the reason why you have roaming on them is just that way that they can either connect with the right winger, the left winger, or the striker, so they can be anywhere at all at all given times if that makes sense uh, you can literally play them as a quote-unquote cam uh, and send through balls all day long if you don't like the roaming instruction you could put balance if you want to i like roaming so i'm leaving it as roaming right winger again same thing inside forward balance for the exact same reason as the other one left winger inside forward balance again is so they can cut inside in between your opponent's half spaces if you don't know what a half space is in between a full back and a center back that's called a half space so that inside forward run literally runs in between those half spaces as much as you can um and if you your opponent pulls out their center backs that's game over your main striker is going to be advanced forward and on this one press complete so they go all over the the final third if you don't like the complete instruction then go ahead and put attack i put complete um the reason why is because you have a roaming playmaker you have a complete striker they kind of go anywhere um at any given half space on your opponent's side of the field and they really struggle with it but i'll go over another video and another tactic over this uh later on so that's the attack um you can copy and paste that pause the video you can copy and paste that code zoom in screenshot whatever you got to do um but yeah that's the backup tactic so main tactic backup tactic tactic all out attack will be this one so it's going to be the 424 uh you're gonna press build up style counter so that you can play play quick tiki taka play i had to use this one time um not in not even in foot champs i had to use it in division three uh trying to get to division two literally quick goals i quick like i scored like the fastest goals with this and then switch to another formation the reason why is not because the counter but because the high line at 90 you get that auto off size trap and you get into your opponent's face like you get aggressive in your opponent's face but this 90 li 90 line height only stays between us so don't tell nobody else leave it there i've been experimenting with that a lot uh player roles this is how it looks like when you're attacking so you have your two center backs left wing back right wing back one box to box center mid one more playmaker center mid like a number eight if that makes sense more attacking left winger right winger and your two strikers um so everything is as follows sweep keep balance both center backs again however you want to put them defender defender or stopper plus defender however you want to put them right wing back please put wing back plus and balance if you have a wing back plus it makes it even better uh, but put wing back balance same thing on the left one wing back balance so you attack with both wing backs your left center mid box to box balance so they can actually attack but they won't attack as much as your right one which is going to be playmaker uh a playmaker uh position and then attack sorry these kind of get me confused sometimes i know what i'm trying to say it just doesn't come out the way i want to say it 
that makes sense so put a playmaker plus here with the attack just so they can get forward a little bit more uh, right winger is inside forward and then press attack so they don't drop down too deep they actually play as a winger and they cut inside to hit them on the counters so the reason the way i do it is i build up to the left send it to the right and then send those quick uh through balls to all of my strikers so my right striker is advanced forward attack uh just so he can be running in behind opening up spaces uh wherever this guy leaves open if that makes sense if he pulls any of uh, my opponents like left back out of position then this guy can run into that empty space your your left striker will be poacher attack just so they can be running in behind even more and pushing your opponent's defensive line back uh, so that way you can send this guy to the feet and this guy will be your finisher if that makes sense uh, don't pay attention to Cooney cross I sub route and I put in uh, Malin because uh, he's very very good with that L1 sprint boost which is stupid but yeah and then left winger is inside forward attack. Same exact reason as the other one. Um, but yep, that's it for that one. Uh, the code is that. Again, pause the video, screenshot, whatever you need to do. You can copy and paste that and go from there. Um, and then the next one will be the park the bus tactic, the 4141. This is when you're winning. Um, this is going to be like minute 70. You need to park the bus. Um, and just defend for your life, basically. The other one is minute 70, and you need to attack and score a few more goals. This one is you need to defend. I forgot I had the face cam on, huh? This one is when you need to defend, uh, need to park the bus, just try to play the ball around um, and not let your opponent steal the ball from you. So you're gonna play 4141, short passing on build up style so your players don't run away from you. They come to you, especially with a lot of players not knowing how to press right now. You're gonna play short passing later on once people get adapted to the game a little bit more. Then I'll go over that with you guys on how to switch it up. Defense approach on this one, you're gonna switch it to 60, so drop it down a little bit more. Um, that way you don't have any players step out of position a lot and make sure to defend with your center mids and your CDM as much as you possibly can, especially your center mids because your CDM will actually drop deep for you, especially if they have a holding plus instruction. Uh, player roles, this is how you're going to attack. So you're going to attack with um, basically just your center mids. You're basically going to be defending almost in a 6-3-1 if that makes sense. You're going to be defending here. When you attack, it's going to be like this. So it's going to be very, very hard for your opponent to steal the ball from you. You have three midfielders which are crowding up the area. And you have your wide midfielders that are going to be connecting with your fullbacks. And it's going to be very, very hard for your opponent to steal the ball. And then your striker is going to drop deep. Build up, pick up the ball, do quick one twos, send over the top through balls, and you're green. Uh, but yep, keep sweep keep balance again center backs whatever you want defender defender or stopper plus whatever left back and right back both are going to be full back defend so they don't go forward so they sit deep like that uh right back again full back defend same exact reason why cdm is going to be uh, i can never get to the cdm uh holding plus defend so you can look like that so they don't move out of position they literally sit as a number six as a sergio busquets like how he would for um Barca, like Rodri does for Man City when they're parking the bus, if they ever have to hold off a win. Uh, left center mid is going to be box to box balance again, so they do go forward a little bit if they need to. Uh, right center mid is again playmaker attack, so they do go forward when they need to. So you can do you have some type of exit strategy whenever you are getting pressed. So again, you build up to the left, send it to the right, send through balls so you can get out of the press because they are going to press you. Right winger is wide midfielder defend. Uh, the reason why you have defend is that way they don't run too forward. They're only going to run forward if you make them run forward. But this is you're trying to hold off a lead. So you can just pass the ball, quick one twos. Uh, your players aren't going to move out of position too, too much. Same thing with the left mid, wide midfielder defend, outlet player again. So you do, do quick one twos with the fullbacks, send over the top through balls. And then your striker is going to be false nine build up. The reason why you want that is so they actually drop a little bit deeper. Do quick one twos with your center mids over the top through balls the whole point of this formation is to do quick one twos with your main attackers and then do over the top through balls and then your opponent's going to get beat every single time but you got to make sure to use over the top through balls uh quick one twos do a lot of plays let go of the sprint button pass the ball around a lot that's the point of my tactics is to pass the ball around a lot use your brain to break down your opponent do through balls um passes to get out of the way and just stuff like that uh, that's the way I like to play and that is the tactic uh, for that or the code for that the J at seven Whatever you guys can pause it screenshot it whatever you want to do so you guys can actually copy and paste this um, But yeah, those are the custom tactics and instructions for um, Foot champs if you like the video hit that like and hit that subscribe button so I can continue making more content for you guys um, This is the team and now we can go open up the rewards if you guys are still here with me. Oh, uh, yeah I got a lot of a lot of coins by the way 
I got 191. I got a lot. Um, yeah. Not even buying coins is I've just been playing a lot of uh, draft and stuff like that. And I've been winning like every single draft. Um, so anytime I, I get something, I sell it and then kind of go from there since I'm just playing with my Arsenal players. I'm trying to save up, maybe buy like an Henri or something. I don't even know what this is. I'm, I'm going to skip it because I, I, don't, I don't know what to walk out and what's not. So see this. I'm just going to send them to the trade pile. Um, I'm keeping that hunter and I know you guys don't really care about this so I'm gonna get rid of all this oh Trossard first owner don't mind if I do all right so see just made 4,500 plus everything else that I'm gonna get rid of that's probably like 10k or 15k or something I don't know probably gonna hit like 220 85 plus player don't know what this is hopefully it's a walkout center back Ruben Diaz hopefully I mean it should be right I don't even know how much he's worth. I'm not even going to pay attention to the walkout because I really don't care. Um, I don't know how much he's worth. 18,000 coins. There you go. Well, I made like 35, 40,000 coins from foot champs from winning that. So not too bad. Not too bad. But I will catch you guys on the next one. Um, hit that like and hit that, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget. Peace.